That wretch Goliath would murder us all. Mark my words. Destruction and trampled ground. Oof, the contortionist you were not. <laughs> Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. Belt from a dressing gown. Curious. A kneecap reduced to splinters. Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. A missing pinky. Middle-aged. It's none other than Theodore Gilden. Oh boy, Sherlock. Another death means another question. And we shall answer the question. It's far too interesting to give it up to the police. Didn't we get to fly in it as children? I doubt it could hold my way today. A strong pull broke this leash. Poke the elephant with this? Really? People are hopeless. A pool of blood and saliva, possibly as a result of impact. Sherlock, take a picture of the footprint. It's valuable evidence. This photograph can help us find the old article about the elephants. The front page was fascinating. It was hard to believe as a child. True. We may need it in our investigation.
it. Stop the presses. Who is Cordona's handsome stranger? Or knows Baggerspun's local life? Wait, uh, no. Foppish foreigner hides dark past. I, uh, um... Oh, you've made quite the impression already, Mr. Holmes. You care to tell your side of the story? I'm quite certain I have no idea as to what you refer, and I am further certain I have no interest in indulging your gossip. Gossip? The truth will come out. But will only be heard if told well. Scandal, daring do, romance. These are the tools of every good journalist. Nothing travels faster or lasts longer than a great story. Young man, your tale will be told with or without you. My readers demand it. You already knew my name and seem aware of my doings here in Cordona. I presume this newspaper is your little endeavor? Yasmin Sertel, editor-in-chief of the Codona Chronicle, advocate of the free press, voice of the people, scourge of the silk stocking. Charmed, I'm sure. As an advocate of the free press, I trust you'll permit me to consult your archives? There are gaps in my knowledge of Cordona. Oh, so my work does have merit. Well, I think we can strike a bargain. I shall provide you access and you let me keep writing about your exploits. So be it. Brooding bachelor builds bridges. Now that's character development. I guess I owe you my gratitude. What can I say? I've always enjoyed working with the homes. They whisper such interesting things. That's the article. Feeling old already.
coal gas tank. Enough to pump up an airship. It's seen a lot of use. The blade is worn from grinding. A sailor's knife useful for cutting wet and thick ropes. Fresh signs of impact. A rough landing led to an altercation with this shed. In a fit of rage, the elephant broke the chain and threw its victim on the ground with a fierce power. Escaping the scene, it pulled the body with it, but dropped it at the gate. At least some of this was witnessed by a third party who was hurled against the shed. The elephant can't have gone too far. I can still track it. Well, suppose you find it. Then what? Push it all the way back to the manor? May I ask for your assistance? Oh, sir, I'm afraid I don't know about that. May I ask for your assistance? I'll help you, sir. You have my full attention. The elephant barged into this cart of olive oil. 
What if we're lucky and he slipped and fell somewhere along the way? East Chicago. East Chicago. Can you satisfy my curiosity? You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. Could you help me? Why should I care about your troubles when you don't care about mine? Okay, hear me out. If an elephant falls in the forest and there's no one around to... John, no. Oh, you're such a killjoy.
strange. It was hung with care. The game has escaped us for now. We'll find a solution to the elephant problem later. Are you? My name is Sherlock Holmes. Theodore Gildon was... Did you kill him? Did you kill the elephant? It's not in the yard anymore. It escaped into the forest. You can't let it go. What if it returns? I highly doubt that, Miss... Imogen Gildon. Please, I beg of you. Find that dreadful beast that killed my father. I suppose we do need to learn what happened. Can you tell me what happened, from the very start? I was here, so I didn't see how it began. My father visits the enclosure every morning to wake up Goliath. Today, I heard the elephant scream. I've never heard such a horrifying sound. My heart stopped. I knew something was wrong. I looked through my window and saw how it... How it lifted my father up by his neck. I rushed downstairs. 
I saw it dragging my father as if he were a doll. I threw stones at it. It dropped my father's body and charged outside, screaming. Its roar was almost human. I was frightened, so I ran inside and hid here. Well, it was the most probable outcome, living with a giant wild animal such as that. How can you be so cold? Goliath murdered my father, Mr. Holmes. He mustn't be allowed to get away with it. Well, thank you for the information, Miss Gildon. I did have some questions for your father. Perhaps you might help me with them? I wasn't privy to much of my father's life. And it's very hard to think of anything at all with Goliath still loose. Please, Mr. Holmes. Very well. Do you mind if I ask you more questions if I find anything that might help? Anything to catch that monster! Miss Gildon, I was on this island ten years ago, and your father knew my mother. I believe I even had the opportunity to ride that balloon outside, but I do not recall seeing you. I lived at my late mother's in Sheffield at the time. I'm in no spirit to reminisce right now. The elephant is out there! You've never heard the name Violet Holmes before? Perhaps your father... Please, Mr. Holmes. With that beast roaming free, I can't think of anything. Very well. Had Goliath been aggressive before? It's dangerous, but it was never aggressive near my father. My father would do anything for Goliath. All the elephant had to do was clap its ears. You envied him, the elephant, I mean. Our house is called the House of Ivory. I've heard some people refer to me as the Ivory Girl, and my room stinks of the animal, as if it's me who lives in a pen and not Goliath. It's not envy, Mr. Holmes. It's just incredibly difficult to live like this. Did you observe anyone else in the yard? Any of your servants, perhaps? Servants? Do you imagine that we would have any with Goliath? No one wishes to work in this house, even for double pay. I didn't see anyone else. Only my father and that diabolical beast. A commendable effort to barricade the windows. She packed as much as she could carry. False idols, oh, sounds utterly dreary. Oh, the same dull poses on all romantic photographs. Oh, the same dull poses on all romantic photographs. So idyllic. Enjoy your happily ever after before it stales. Hey, Sherry, we need to talk. You found false idols. We need to find the remaining two. What does bazooka even mean? Would this paper be good for anything but blowing one's nose on? They're not rubbish, Sherry. There's something more. I'm serious. Very well. I doubt it'll be worth it, but I will find them for you, John. You'll thank me later. They're some of the most imaginative books I've ever read. What did you say? Speaking aloud helps me think. Nicest spot in the room. Mr. Gildon spent hours of his life right here. Staring at an elephant's backside. What a wonderful life. Quite the spectrum. 
From the history of the Roman Empire to conspiracy theories of the French Revolution. Mother. It's nice to see her young and smiling. Mother. From before Mycroft was born, our family loves to prod at the past. Holmes' desire to rake up the past is hereditary. <laughs> a partnership annulled with a single stroke of a pen. What's so special about this place? Another elephant? A catchy title. I should take a photograph of the plans. I don't want to carry them around. Oh, the pungent stench of an animal. Did Theodore seek some pink elephants with this? A relatively functional choice to replace the finger. I think Miss Gildon has barely matured. I think they were closer than you and me, John. I'm hurt. His second child? An apparent son and heir, I'd say. A. Swift, is this name familiar to you? Your father had it removed from this plan. Oh, that's Arthur Swift. I've seen him a couple of times here. He works with my father in the old city, digging up something ancient. He is an archaeologist? That's the word, yes. But to be truthful, I really don't think Mr. Swift is fit to be one. I've just learnt a lot about archaeology from my favourite book series. Oh, they are page-turners. Inspirational, I'm sure, but would you happen to know where this Mr. Swift might be found? I don't. But perhaps you can find out somewhere. My father's work with him is all official. Lots of boring legal papers with signatures and stuff. And, uh, which part of the elephant is in here? It's quite pungent. Oh, that. It's elephant sweat. Father believed that it might replace traditional amber grease. Well, that's true entrepreneur spirit. How can you read something like this? It's hard to swallow, and that's not due to the hard cover. You're hardly serious. Any library without Nabe and Laura is incomplete. If you can read, then these books are an absolute must. Love and adventure. They're about life. Oh, I wasn't aware that exploding pyramids were part of daily life on Cordona. You haven't seen life. So you might try reading about it at least. I found this. Who's this young lad next to you, your faithful knight? Paul. He's my pirate. He's not really a pirate. I just call him that. It probably sounds very silly. Your secret is safe in my hands. Does Paul work somewhere? What is his surname? His name is Paul Perks. He and his yacht Whirlpool are the champions of the Salacia Yacht Club. He sails there. I'll show you where it is on the map, if you need to meet him. A yachting champion? Huh. Well, that will be a first. I prefer dry land. And so does my suit. 
These bags of yours, it looks as if you've packed your entire room. Were you planning on going somewhere? My partner and I, we wanted a change, a fresh start abroad. But now I have to stay here, here, an orphan. 